Hi friends, uh, Johan here. Uh, I know it's been a little while since I've posted anything and I apologize for that. Sometimes life happens and actually that's not true. I just, I just haven't done it. I don't have a reason. I just haven't done it. Um, not really much to report. I just wanted to get on and say hey real quick. I did go for a bike ride last Sunday May the 2th, we just did, uh, Dawn and I did a quick 12 miles on the SVT from Stewart Park to Centennial Park and back, and we wound up making a friend that day, um, lovely woman named Mary Beth was starting out on her bike ride, uh, as we were starting, and so she asked to ride with us, and we're like, okay, sure. And she's a runner as well. So we had a nice chat and a nice little ride. She said she was originally only going to do about five and wound up doing the whole 12 with us. Anyway, I had a good blood sugar day that day. I started out, I made sure to get my sugar pretty high. So I was, I want to say in the 160s when we started. And then when we got to Centennial Park, the halfway point, excuse me, I'm belching baloney. <laughs> um, when I got to Centennial Park at the halfway point, I was about 135 or so with my glucose and then I did a gel and we rode the rest of the way back and I finished at 130 which I'll take that all day long that's a win as far as I'm concerned blood sugar wise then this past Thursday of last week the sneaker shop started their weekly fun runs again and we didn't get to do them at all last year because of covid obviously but tracy decided to go ahead and start them for 2021 and they're nice i really recommend them for anyone who wants to get a handful of quick miles in on a thursday there it's it's a nice flat course it's quick uh there's not much shade so once it gets really warm it's hot as balls out there because there's just there's no sunblock at all but it's a nice quick little three to three and a half miler depending on how much you lollygag and when I did that, I started at around 160 or so for a glucose. And when I finished, I was 106. So again, that was that was a win for me. Plus, I ended up doing like a 12.38 pace. And that's pretty damn good for essentially not having run at all since... September. So, I mean, obviously that's not, you know, all my troubles are over kind of thing. But that was, I, I needed that little boost f for that ride and then that run. That really helped me mentally to, you know, get a little bit of a tease that maybe, maybe I can get back into it once Panky finally starts playing nice if Panky st finally starts playing nice but uh so we'll see speaking of Panky tomorrow I go to see the endocrinologist finally after 7 months of being diabetic being knowingly diabetic I guess I finally get into the endocrinologist tomorrow. 
I don't really know what to expect. Probably a lecture. Because I, this weekend, this weekend was a kind of a bad weekend food-wise. Ian was home. My oldest son, he was home from college for the weekend. He, he went back Sunday, but he'll be back this coming weekend. Anyway, he was home and he and Lauren, his girlfriend, came over and we, we ate like shit all weekend. We had... Kiefner's Horseshoes Friday night, we had, um, what else did we have? We had Chinese Saturday. We just, we, we did not eat well. I mean, I, you know, covered it with insulin as best I could. I completely missed the boat. With the Chinese, I was up in the 220s for a while after eating the Chinese. But what are you going to do? So, like I said, I'm sure I will probably get a lecture about my recent diet habits and my recent glucose fluctuations and whatnot. But... I, you know, I'm going to make sure they know I'm serious about it. I'm in it to win it. You know, I'm not going to be one of those diabetics that just decide they don't want to take their meds or one of those diabetics that think, you know, a little bit of cheating is fine, whatever. I, I... I love to eat. That's that's just that's how it is. I love to eat. That's why I run is so I can eat. But I I have to be sensible. Um, I have to save the last fifteen percent of my pancreas that I have remaining. So I have to be smart about what I eat, and hopefully. Between Dawn and my endocrinologist, hopefully I can finally figure out what the hell I'm doing with diabetes. And maybe get healthy again to where I can start running with everybody. And maybe keep up. Or at least not slow everybody down. That might be more for rides than runs, but... You get my point. So then uh, that's tomorrow afternoon. Then after that's over and after Dawn's physical therapy appointment is over, we go down to St. Louis for another procedure at Barnes on Thursday morning. They're going to do another ERCP. Yeah, ERCP. And hopefully this will be the last one. If 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 my pancreas is functioning the way it's supposed to, they'll take the stents out, and I will essentially, you know, get a kiss on my forehead and be told I'm done. If my pancreas is not behaving properly, they're going to replace the stents, and I go back again in July to try again. I don't know, I don't have a a real feel for how it's going to go. I know I've had some pretty janked up dreams as far as what might happen. Let's not discuss that and let's hope those don't occur. But hopefully... Hopefully this will be a good one and I don't have to have any more procedures and we can just manage the diabetes and hopefully get back on track. So that's, 
that's basically where I am right now. We've got uh, the Abe's Army starting in about two more weeks, I think. Two weeks from yesterday. Yeah, two weeks from yesterday. Abe's Army starts. And that's that's really about it. For right now, like I said, I just wanted to get on since I haven't been on for a while. I just wanted to hop on and say hello. And just say thanks for sticking with me. And we'll talk to you soon. That's, that's all I really got. I'll try to do a report either at the hospital or just from the hospital. Thursday. If I'm not up to that, then I will talk to you guys once I get home. I'll make a video and probably sound still buzzing on anesthesia, but I will definitely talk to you, if nothing else, when I get home Thursday. So until then, take care of yourselves and uh, Johan out.